Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fry Speaking here and welcome back to another video of mine. Today we are going to look at a tiny little new game called Townscaper. It just released a couple of days ago and it is a very simple, tiny little cute building game I would say that I think I just bought for five euros. I don't know how much it is in your country, but it is quite like, it is a very simple, tiny, cute little tool that I wanted to show you because it is for builders, in my opinion, like a really cute little game. So as you can see, the UI is very simple. We only have a couple of colors here and then there's a little menu. It's in German for me, but basically, yeah, all you can do is left click and right click. You can only use your mouse. And uh, when you left click, this is basically what happens. It, uh, um, yeah, it builds a little platform, it builds something. So left click is always building something. Whereas when I right click on something, it deletes it. So this is the only tool. This is the only thing that you can do. And basically, if you do two of them together, it creates these platforms. Now I have white selected, so if I click here, a tiny little house is here. And it automatically creates a little house that is like this one cube big. So it is like in The Sims with the tile system, but here we have to think in cubes. And if I want to put like a blue house next to it, it creates a blue house. So since these are two different colors, the algorithm of this game automatically creates a new house next to it. And like the surroundings change a little bit on the sides here as well. The platforms are always the same and will also uh, sporadically have some little trees around it or nothing as you can see here, but we have a little door here now. And if you put something here, there's a little tree and like a little lookout thing. So that's interesting. And also what is interesting is if you have different colors, it's a separate little house, as you can see. So if I would make delete this now and create another white one, it becomes one big white house. And I can go up and I think if you have no um, cubes next to it and you build up, it starts to get round. So you can have these round towers. If I would put another color over here, it is in a square shaped again. But if I would put another one over here in the same blue, it should be round. Yep, there we go. So this is basically what's happening here. It's a tiny little tool and it's kind of interesting to build something to see what happens what happens if i join two things together and if i put like a blue house over here for example here's some birds spawned that is quite cutely animated as well because if i build something the birds will now fly away <laughs> it's so cute so yeah you can make lots and lots of interesting little shapes for example so if we have two of these houses next to each other it also creates little streets and whatnot and yeah as you can see we have lots of tiny little birds sometimes um we have the water you know like you're listening to the water it's a very uh, I would say quiet little game. There is no real purpose around it, like there's no goal, but it is quite beautiful in my opinion. And uh, it's funny to see um, how stuff is built. By the way, it's also interesting if you don't have a platform, this is happening. You get these steel beams holding up something. So that's also quite cute and it changes if I would add something here as well. So it is quite funny. It looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. And yeah, in this uh, little video, I wanted to show you what you can build. By the way, there's also arches in this game. <laughs> and if you build them quite high, <laughs> sometimes you have uh, little animations between them, like what's what on them and stuff. Um, so that's also quite interesting how stuff is uh, looking after, you know, building something. <laughs> so you can create like really, really weird shapes, as you can see here, for example. Um, and it is interesting. You have lots and lots of different colors. So you can experiment here too, how stuff changes because you have different colors suddenly. Uh, for example, here it creates new streets because uh, there are other around it so to speak so 
Uh, in this tiny little video, I wanted to show you how I am going to build. So let's go on to new and maybe we can have a little, you know, try try to build a little castle or something like that. So first of all, I also wanted to show you the little grid system because the grids are actually nods between these tiles. And as you can see, some are four by four tiles, but some also are like these stars and have a quite interesting shapes then as well, because then the house is not like a square, but a star shaped. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to experiment with that as well. Um, let's get rid of the grid because I kind of want to be surprised how stuff looks like. Uh, by the way, if you have already the game and ask yourself how I rotate, this is the left mouse button holding down and the right mouse button basically moves from left to right. So yeah, it is absolutely not via keyboard because I was like trying to WASD around and yeah, it didn't work. I was like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> um, so that was quite interesting. So first of all, for my little tiny village city with a castle, I need of course some platforms so i know where to put stuff maybe we can have two separate little islands and yeah of course i want to have my castle to be in white like a white castle maybe or maybe blue i actually personally like blue hmm okay let's do it in white let's see what's happening if we only do it in white so uh, of course we need like a big tower i actually want to see what happens if i make the tower four by four so let's build up oh it's square shaped then okay <laughs> oh that's interesting what happens if i make them <laughs> oh that's so cute okay so we're gonna make uh some interesting it's also funny because you can just uh you know um let's zoom here oh that's that's cool that's a cool look maybe here a little bit more and here as well that's so cute and maybe like an arch over here oh that's so cute <laughs> i love that it adds the adds these tiny little trees i really have to get used to the um you know to the what happens if i put this here ah oh, okay got it got it <laughs> it's actually cute so yeah it is um quite interesting in my opinion how uh stuff starts to look like um so uh, let's put like a little balcony over here maybe uh rotate i actually want to have another tiny tower so i think this has to be a tower and maybe we have we make this kind of adds that small maybe we add something over here and this is just by clicking like look how oh that was cool looking um <laughs> look how beautiful it looks it is uh truly an interesting kind of building tool in my opinion so let's even that out to have tiny little oh i like that more um so yeah this is quite cute already i like the castle kind of thing looks a little bit more like city so why not make more little towers to uh, make sure these are oh these are also connecting i guess are they <laughs> kind of okay <laughs> this is interesting um maybe we Ooh, that was nice hold on i want to have that back um i think i may i deleted something over here Ooh, that's so pretty that's so interesting looking so it is interesting to also delete something just see what happens in my opinion <laughs> all right so i think we have a, a, kind of like an interesting castle what happens if we do this here okay and there oh no we need that back thank you <laughs> so yeah kind of looks quite cute already love that love that maybe we go down by one here over oh, that's other so okay now we have that castle kind of built in my opinion um why not connect it to maybe a tiny little village and i actually love when it is like that 
because it creates new little i oh we have like one of these that's cool we definitely need to put something over here um and yeah maybe use another color so i would like to use a blue now kind of see what happens and it's actually quite interesting to see how it adds here there's also another thing that i found out um during the build basically and that is um if you if you have a little row of hold on if you have a little row of tiny little okay let's zoom in here and maybe delete this so we have the yeah there we go then we have little roofs. So if you have a row of houses or one big house, um, let me zoom in here. Uh, it creates a little garden if you see. Oh, that's so cute. Um, that also happens if you have different colored houses. So you have these interesting little gardens in the middle. And yeah, they are quite interesting to do, in my opinion. Also, it's interesting to uh, experiment, of course, with lots of different colors. So, for example, if I have like um, a blue house over here uh, and make like a green one over here and a brown one next to here. And like we, we create these really crazy you know shapes um then it would have this very interesting kind of garden in the middle and i like that isn't that cute <laughs> so let's see how it looks like from afar it's so oh, that's so cute it really is um if you have the normal color here we can go high up here as well so let's see if you have maybe a little bit of red in the middle it's also funny to just uh, move around the camera in my opinion and just widely click around and see what happens you know uh, because then you get quite surprised by some cute little shapes as well so we created that in just a couple of uh, minutes so let's put some red over here as well and we oh we kind of also get interesting little promenades so that's interesting um and yeah this is basically what i wanted to show you it is really really an interesting tiny little game in my opinion you can have for example what i also try to do is have a little house let's put this on the side that has the um the the typical let's see instagram for example right the instagram colors would be purple right and then it goes over into kind of like an orange so you could have like a sunset kind of building if you know what i mean and go into the different colors so that's uh that's a possibility you could also go with red over here and i kind of add something in that color and kind of experiment with uh rainbows so to speak so that's also cute in my opinion uh, so yeah i can highly uh, suggest to just you know uh, if you have like a couple of minutes and want to see what's happening uh, if you just click around and it's a really smart tiny little algorithm that kind of tries to connect everything and create little doors and pathways and streets and whatnot and little gardens you have these little birds and stuff you can go really really crazy for example if i build high and just uh, click here we have like these weird uh, almost steampunky bridges and whatnot so that's also interesting to see what happens then um but yeah in my opinion this is a fun little game builder thing you know if you want to calm down you can watch movies by the way and just click around but this is basically what i've built just in a couple of minutes with you guys and it is a really really nice little tranquil game so to speak and i really wanted to showcase it on my channel because i know that lots of other builders it's not only sims 4 you know watch my channel and i want to suggest to you know have a little look at their game because it's also very inspirational i mean how cool would it be to 
now build this in The Sims 4 or in Minecraft or in, I don't know, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, something like this. So yeah, um, just check out the game if you want to. It is on Steam. I will link to the Steam page, of course, in the video description down below. I'm not sponsored by this. I just bought it for myself and thought it is really, really cool and wanted to make a quick little video about it. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, maybe this inspired you for any other build as well and maybe you check out the tiny little game called townscaper and yeah just write me in the comments if you want to see any kind of time lapse builds i just started building with it maybe i find like a cool little tutorial way to build something that's kind of nice looking but yeah uh, just write in the comments down below if you want to see more about this and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I stream on Twitch every Friday, so uh, make sure to subscribe over there as well. And I'm pretty sure we're going to play a little bit of Townscaper over there on Twitch as well. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you or kind of interesting. And I wish you a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!